Hello and welcome everyone to this video on how to reconcile names of different spellings. For example, you have two tables, correct? In those two tables, you have employee names. The problem is their names could be slightly different in terms of spelling in two different sheets. And I want to reconcile their ratings last year versus current year. So for example, if I go to 2019 and type in control F G U D E, right? I get this name called Gudepu Santosh Kumar. Now I go to 2020 and I type in the same name and I realize the name is appearing with slight mismatch in spelling. So your VLOOKUP will not be able to figure out an answer wherein you can apply VLOOKUP, look for the name and then look for the previous sheet and try to get the rating from that column. Now this is not going to give you the answer but let me see if Ashish Divakar is there in my data. Let me do a copy, do a control F and control V and let's see where it is. All right. So this is Ashish Divakar without the comma, first name ahead, then the second name. To do so, you will read something called fuzzy lookup, which is a free Microsoft add-in. I have given the link here for easy download, but you can also Google and say, hey, download fuzzy lookup. Once you download and install this, you will have fuzzy lookup on the top right corner of your window. And you can install this even in the older versions of Excel. So now let's see how to use this. First, I go to 2020 ratings. My objective is to find out these employees last year's rating. To do so, I convert both these tables into a proper table form by going to insert and clicking on table. The shortcut key is control T. The reason for that is fuzzy lookup needs you to convert the data into a tabular form using control T and only then it will speak to you. So I go back to 2020 ratings after having converted both these tables into a proper table format. Now let's say I put my cursor in one of the blank cells here and I go to fuzzy lookup. I realize that there's only one button under fuzzy lookup and let me show that once again. There you go, fuzzy lookup. Now, once I click on fuzzy lookup, a panel will appear on the right hand side. So this is going to be very, very useful. For now, let me bring this closer to the table so that I can help you understand this more clearly. First thing is it asks you to choose the table. Okay. So, so left table will have headings here, right table will have headings here. So what is the common thing between the two name? Correct. Now choosing name as the common denominator between the two data sets, I click on this button which says select one or more columns from each table and then hit this to connect them. Once I do so, remember you can also undo this step by crossing out and redo this again, name, name and connect. Now you would want to set a threshold between zero and one. One is used when you have exact spelling. But since it's a data which is not exact same, so I'll be using somewhere close to 0.3 or 0.4. It uses a statistical index called Jacquard's index behind its engines. So I'm not going to that right now, but right now let's see if I click on go, what happens? I click on go and few seconds down the line, I see some data appearing on the right hand side. What I also realize is that besides 2020 and 2019, I have a similarity index. Now let me study this data. I have Anurag Kumar. I have Kumar comma Anurag. I have Gudepu Santesh Kumar and I have Kumar comma then Gudepu. Notice the similarity index is also given to help you indicate which are the most similar ones. So once you've applied this, you may also do this again. Let me show that once again. Let me delete this. Why don't I choose the table one first and then table two? In this case, the first table is 2020 and that will be taken as a benchmark for list of all employee names. Now I click on go, uh, must define at least one fuzzy join. Okay. I may have missed something. Yes. I missed clicking on this button. So remember that you must also click on the button. Then you click on go and your answer is going to be ready in no time. Now I will be doing what I'll be going to the cell similarity and using that as a benchmark to sort it sort based on similarity in largest to smallest sequence so that the highest similarity names are on the top. Now you can judge for yourself. 
you could not have done this reconciliation with the help of VLOOKUP or INDEX or even XLOOKUP for that matter. So this is what fuzzy lookup does for you. Remember, convert your data into table format using control T and only then you can use fuzzy lookup. You can set your own threshold. If the data quality is not so great, you can put 0.3. If it's better, then you can put 0.7. Completely your choice. In fact, you should do two, three iterations to get the right answer. So I hope you understood the concept of fuzzy lookup and something similar exists in Power Query also when we go to merge query, but that's a story for another different video.